Before I get into this video, guys, we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers and honestly, 150 and 200K, et cetera, et cetera. You know, if you guys just subscribe to the channel, we just might make it there. Just trying to be a full timer here on YouTube, chasing my dream. That being said, let's get into today's news. We got a couple of stories to talk about, and one of them deals with Metroid Prime 4 and how it might not be coming out this year. Again, might not be. We have an update on that. Some, some things I don't like talking about, but they happen for a reason, and that is Nintendo and Reddit coming together to cause some more bans and other such things happening around the Tears of the Kingdom leak. That's right. Remember when Tears of the Kingdom leaked almost two weeks early? Yeah, we got to talk about that. So here's sort of what's happening with Metroid Prime 4, and it's basically that they're hiring for it. Now, if you go to their Retro Studios website, yeah, you can see some links and a bunch of stuff where it references Metroid Prime 4, but doesn't specifically mention they're hiring for it. But when you go over on LinkedIn, there's actually a couple posts. One last month coming from Johnny. Uh, I, can't, I can't pronounce the rest of it. He's a senior art director at Retro Studios where he mentions, Hi, Retro Studios is still looking for talent to build Metroid Prime 4. But that's not it. There was also a post put up a week ago by Daniel, who also works at Retro Studios. And he says, Do you know of any talented VFX artists looking for new roles with AAA titles? Are you looking? Retro Studios and VFX lead Nicholas Wilson are looking to fill an on-site hybrid VFX role in Austin, Texas. This role would be to work on Metroid Prime 4 for the Nintendo Switch. And this was just posted a week ago. So this heavily suggests they're still looking for people to work on Metroid Prime 4. Now, as noted by DocTray81, when I briefly talked about this, on Twitter, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're not basically done with the game or not about to release the game because he put out there that, hey, Mortal Kombat 1, aka the studio behind it, NetherRealm Studios, was actually still hiring for Mortal Kombat 1 just a month ago, and the game does come out in September. So, yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things where this could mean Metroid Prime 4 isn't coming this year. It could also just mean, hey, they're going to continue to add updates and, and, and do things with Metroid Prime 4 after it comes out, maybe DLC related. Of course, we have no idea if Metroid Prime 4 is coming this year. The official word from Nintendo is just TBA. But the reason this becomes news is not just because it is an update that they're still hiring for Metroid Prime 4, but also because people like myself have heard from some sources that, or in my case, one source, that Metroid Prime 4 is basically done. Now, basically done doesn't mean it is done, doesn't mean they can't hire for it, but sort of a suggestion it might come here in 2023. But we don't really know. So we're just going to have to wait and see. All I do know is that we want to see the game, right? It would be cool if at the next directs, even if it doesn't come out this year, if we could just see the game. But we need to get into our next story because this is one that, you know, if, if you've been following Nintendo for a long time, you know they hate hackers, you know they hate ROMs, you know they hate emulation, and this is something that makes sense for once that Nintendo and Reddit have taken action because... Look, there are lines that most of us can agree you just shouldn't cross, and this subreddit had crossed that line. Now, if you're cringing that we're talking about Reddit, I totally understand. They have a bunch of controversies going on right now with their treatment of the moderators and this AI stuff and the CEO acting like the users don't matter and they're about to go public and... Look, Reddit's sort of a mess at the moment anyways and might be becoming less relevant as the years go on. But for right now, at least during the time of Tears of the Kingdom, there was some relevancy to Reddit. And I got this article by Ethan Gash over on Kotaku where he says Nintendo Switch Piracy subreddit banned after the giant Tears of the Kingdom leak. And it, it just goes on to really talk about how illicit copies of Tears of the Kingdom began circulating and first started popping up over on this Reddit. And the subreddit was called the New Yuzo Piracy Subreddit. Now, moderators and members of the subreddit, and there were about 70K members at the time that it got banned, had known that it was highly likely this Reddit would get shut down eventually. Now, it had been running under the radar for about three years. And yes, all throughout this Reddit, with every game released the last three years, had been a bunch of you know, illegal links to download brand new released Switch games. So it was, they weren't even hiding what they were. New Yuzo Piracy subreddit. 70,000 members. 
Yes, it was a subreddit about pirating Nintendo Switch games, which is illegal. So it's no surprise that this got shut down, but this happened through Nintendo's research, digging into a certain Discord server and certain members, discovering the subreddit, and obviously asking Reddit, hey, why the hell are you allowing illegal links on your website? And this obviously goes to show how... Reddit itself is completely user controlled and user moderated and the upper management and the people in control don't really do anything. I think we've known that for a while. But anyways, Reddit did go ahead and shut down that subreddit and it didn't it didn't shock anybody there. No one's really mad at Nintendo about it. They're sort of just surprised that it even was allowed to exist for as long as it did. They'll just, you know, regress into some other place be a 4chan or uh, a private forum or, or or wherever they can go uh, to continue to share their illegal links without Nintendo doing much about it. Still, it is interesting to see that Nintendo is still technically pursuing actions over everything that helped lead to the mega spreading of Tears of the Kingdom. Like it, it it's it was uh, something Nintendo probably knew was going to happen, right? Because every new Switch game, including Nintendo's own games, gets leaked. But Tears of the Kingdom being Maybe their most high-profile release. And look, we could talk about other games being a big deal, Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade and yada yada. But like, this is a guaranteed top 10 seller and, you know, on the whole platform. And so Nintendo, you know, being an expensive game and all the years gone into it, yeah, they're going to be a lot more angry about this one leaking than, say, Xenoblade Chronicles. So it is interesting to see Nintendo continue to pursue actions over what happened. We don't know if anything legally has happened, right? Like asking Reddit to shut down what is an illegal subreddit isn't shocking. And yeah, Reddit will just shut it down. But we don't know if anything else is coming out of all this stuff. It, you know, they, they had some some stuff filed, Discord and certain Discord users. I haven't heard any updates on that, whether Nintendo's actually pursuing anything or if maybe everything links back to this Reddit and there's particular users at this Reddit that started everything. I... Dude, I don't know. What I do know is that Nintendo very much hates piracy, and for the most part, I think most of us can just nod our heads and go, yeah, this was a bit much. Nintendo sometimes, you know, is, is overstretching a bit. You know, we've seen all the arguments they've been making about the Dolphin emulator on Steam and all this stuff, but this is a case where I don't really think it's that controversial. I think all of us can look at each other and go, yeah, you shouldn't post illegal, you know, links, to brand new games with a subreddit literally having piracy in its name. Like, yeah, that that just shouldn't exist. That's not the right place for that kind of stuff. There's plenty of, let's say, shadier places uh, that you can go. But the fact that it existed for three years without Nintendo even knowing about it is interesting because Nintendo would have shut this down years ago if they had actually known this subreddit existed. But that's what happens on Reddit. There's so many subreddits that some can just sort of fly under the radar, but as they get bigger and bigger, and it more than doubled in user base size after Zelda leaked, clearly that helped get Nintendo's attention. So take that for what you will. Uh, that's sort of our video for today. And I do want to say uh, thank you to everyone in the comment section, uh, whether here on, on, on my videos or on Twitter. For those that have been paying attention, I've been suffering from a bit of a back injury this week. Uh, I will be okay. It is slowly getting better following all of the orders and stuff I'm supposed to do. But I do want to say thank you to those that were wishing me well. Uh, this is why we haven't had any live streams or anything crazy going on pretty much since Prime Gaming Fest because it, you know, I had to cancel the podcast this week. It's just I'm just doing my best to take care of myself. We'll be back at it, though. I will be okay. And, yes, for those wondering, I, I do have to lose some weight to help with the back, and that's totally okay with me. You know, something was going to make me uh, kick it into 11, and I guess uh, this is that thing. So thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.